Hi, this is On Mind with Andrew Archer. I'm the owner of Minnesota Mental Health Services. And so today I want to just um, go through a goals list exercise. This is something I've been doing recently with many patients of mine for psychotherapy. Uh, and it's really interesting kind of the, the outcomes, the things that come up. So if you want to do this exercise, you're going to need four sheets of paper, uh, then, a, then a pencil or marker, pen, something to write with. Um, and it's parts of it are timed. So if you do this on your own, you'll need something with a seconds hand on it, but we'll have breaks in the recording. And this goals list exercise comes from Ian Stewart's book, Developing Transactional Analysis Counseling. Transactional analysis is the method I use in psychotherapy with patients. It's really an action oriented um, approach. So focusing on goals and making contracts with individuals for um, change. So when we do this exercise, there's no set of right answers to it. Um, its purpose is to help you identify and clarify what you want. If you're in the mental health space, this certainly could be an exercise you did with your uh, patients. So you're going to take out the first sheet of paper, and at the top, you're going to write, what are my lifetime goals. So you'll have exactly two minutes to write down your answers to that question and just get as many words down as you can. Uh, again, there's no right answers. Do not attempt to censor or evaluate at this stage. Just put everything down that comes to mind. This is just thinking about what you want to do, not how you're going to do it. Uh, so go ahead and we'll give you two minutes to answer that question. What are my lifetime goals? Then take another two minutes to review what you have written, alter it or add to it in any way which you feel makes the list more satisfying to you. So again, you're going to have two minutes. You can add, subtract, change things, try and make that list more satisfying to you.
take the next sheet of paper um, out and write at the top, what do I want to achieve in the next three years? Again, you're going to have two minutes to get all the ideas you have out on paper. Try not to censor it or anything, and then you'll get another two minutes to review, add, um, make those changes. So go ahead and start. So now take another two minutes to review your answers, what you've written down, make any changes, alter it so that it's more satisfying to you. Now take the third sheet of paper out and at the top write, if I knew I would be struck dead by lightning six months from today, how would I live until then? And let's assume your funeral arrangements, your estate planning, all that is taken care of. So it's really brainstorm in two minutes um, this question about how you would live if you had only six months. Um, and then we'll do another two minutes to review.
So now take another two minutes to make that third list even more satisfying to you. You can alter it, you can change it, subtract things. So take another two minutes. Okay, so now spend at least two more minutes reviewing your sets of answers across the three sheets of uh, paper together. Uh, this isn't necessarily timed. We'll do two minutes here, but you can spend as much time as you want in this section. Again, altering, adding, subtracting things across those three lists and making each of the lists more satisfying to you. So we'll give it two minutes for this. So it is important for you to express all your goals in positive words. That means what you will do, what you will get or achieve. So looking at your goals, if you have any words expressed in negative terms, meaning what you will not do, you'll stop doing or avoid doing, 
or any other such negative words, uh, change those at this stage uh, into the positive words. You might ask yourself, what am I going to have instead of what I don't want to have? Or what am I going to do instead of the behavior that I want to stop? So now at this point, consider whether there are sharp differences between your lifetime, three-year, and six-month lists. Uh, if there are sharp differences, you know, what does this tell you about what you really want from life? Um, in using the transactional analysis framework, uh, the human being is understood as three different social realities, meaning... Uh, in the parent state, the person operates as their parent figures did or the, the influence of their parent figures is really strong. And so that state of mind is more analytical, more judgmental. So oftentimes the lifetime goals are really driven by that parent state, which says this is what you should do with your life versus the three-year plan is more connected with what we call the adult state. That's much more uh, pragmatic based on current data, you know, not so much your parent figures. Um, and some examples of those first two lists are starting and maintaining a physical exercise program, getting into better shape, that kind of idea, or making a certain amount of money. Let's say you want to make $100,000 a year. Uh, this often contrasts with the six month um, goal, which is more of what we call the child state or kind of your unconscious drives psychology um, an example is taking a walking tour around the world that's what ian stewart has listed here so this moves us into making some alterations uh, based on conflicts in your goals so if, if your goal is to start a fitness program uh, but your goal is also to earn a million dollars in a year those things might potentially be in conflict because you got to be making money versus spending more time um, exercising. But the goal of a walking tour around the world fits in with that fitness program. So look at your lists and see if there's conflicts between the different goals, the things you want. And conflicts in this respect are really positive in terms of making our list because if you have conflicts, you need to identify them and deal with them. And the way you deal with them is setting priorities and making uh, compromises. So at this point, uh, we want to set our priorities in terms of the goals list. So on the fourth sheet of paper, you can put nine priority goals. And so what you're going to do is look at that lifetime list and pick out the top three in order. So on that fourth sheet, you have A1, A2, and A3. These are your prioritize lifetime goals. And once you do that, do the same thing for the three-year list, B1, B2, B3. These are your um, three-year plan goals. And then for the six months, you write down C1, C2, and C3. So once you've maybe circled these on each of your list, then write them out uh, as your nine priority goals. Um, and these are not set in stone. Uh, especially in the early stages of goal setting, uh, you'll be reviewing and revising these goals. Um, effective goals aren't static. Uh, things change in our life, so then we make changes um, constantly and revise those goals. So again, this goals list exercise comes from Ian Stewart's book, Developing Transactional Analysis um, Counseling. It's on pages 45 through 47. 
great thing to do with an um, intimate partner of yours or if you're in the counseling social services space going through this um, with clients that you work with to start to understand what that person wants um, and then from there you can take action steps into how that person is gonna make those goals um, in your work together so thanks so much for trying this out. Again, I'm Andrew Archer from Minnesota Mental Health Services. Uh, stay tuned.